Hey, what's going on? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and in this quick video I'm going to show you a little tank that I'm taping up with graphics right now and uh, just showing you some of the steps. Let's take a look. Alright, so I, uh, I did the graphic with fine line tape. Alright, and if you don't know what that is, is it's just this little blue tape here that's called fine line tape and it's very moldable like you could do flames with it you could do you know it comes in eighth inch quarter inch different thicknesses and what I did was I first I lined out the graphic with it then I got some painters tape and I covered it and then I cut it okay this way because this in here is gonna stay silver I'm gonna do a green base coat on top of this silver now and I, the reason why I painted the whole tank silver was to give it a nice under base coat. Okay, now when I put my green on top of this, it's gonna pop even more than just painting over primer or a darker color. You know, I wanted this light green to, to really pop out. Right, so I got the graphic all done. Now on this side, you see I have to actually cut it with my razor blade, right? Now once I cut it, it's gonna look like this side. And then I'm ready to mix my green paint up and you know base coat the whole thing now I get a lot of questions people saying hey Tony I'm on my I'm doing base coat right now and like I'm painting a car I'm painting my car and I, I just did the base coat and I see like dust in it and this is exactly what you're gonna see if you see dust in the base coat I don't know if I, uh, if I could zoom up on that I don't know if that'll catch but let's see see it right there if you can see that that's like some dust in the base coat Okay, it's like stuck, right? So all you gotta do is get a piece of sandpaper, make sure it's dry, you know, wait 20, 30 minutes, wait till your base coat is dry, then just scuff it quick with like uh, 600 or an 800, just to, just to take it out, right? And then go over it again. See, it's kinda coming out. You just don't wanna go too much. See, I got it out. I got that little hair out right there. So still, you know, I want to take that out. So I'm going to get some 800 grit probably. Just scuff that area in a circular. You don't want to push hard just to take that little ridge of paint off. All right. Then uh, we're going to tack the whole thing down, right? Because you always want to tack in between base coats if you have a lot of overspray. Most times you do, right? Um, and if you're doing large projects, like we got, you know, the rest of the bike is over here. Um, I'm going to tape up one more graphic here for the number in the back, right? I'm going to mask that up right now quick. And then, um, and then base it, all right? So I just wanted to give you that tip, uh, especially this one right here and some with the graphics, and it's kind of like a mixed video, but who cares? Uh, I hope you learned a lot. So if you want to learn more about Auto Body, be sure to go to learnautobodyandpaint.com right now uh, to get a free 85-page Auto Body manual that you can download. Send it. Uh, and uh, check out the blog, you know, go to learnautobodyandpaint.com, and we got tons of new information. Uh, we even got auto body VIP courses there that you can check out. Uh, we've been training thousands of people uh, from all over the world learn this stuff and uh, people really, really like it. All right, so I hope you learned a little bit about this. I'm gonna go ahead, cut this side out over here, uh, mix up my green base coat and uh, paint these pieces in a little while. All right, so I got my green base right here. This is the 2014 Camaro color, 2013, 2014, one of those. And uh, we're going to go ahead, mix it up, and spray it. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Please like, share, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.